Hey guys, today is Thursday, July 30th, 2020, and I got a surprise in the mail from a friend of mine. Her name is Alicia, and she sells paparazzi jewelry. If you don't know what paparazzi jewelry is, it's $5 jewelry, everything's just $5 and um, everything is lead and nickel free. So I messaged her a week or so ago and I told her that I was looking for something specific. And um, I don't know if she either had it or she was able to get it, but she got it. And here's her business cards, here's the back and I'm going to insert all her information at the bottom of the screen and then I'll post a link to her site um, down below so you can click on it and shop from her website. But I'm opening a surprise and it is a beautiful blue necklace with matching earrings to go along with it. Let me get it out of here. Now, I will tell you that she was sweet enough to gift this to me. Um, she watches my videos and she's been following along and she's known that we've been going through pretty much a rough patch with the miscarriage and the, um, the COVID. So she was really sweet enough to, to do that. But I just wanted to open this in front of you guys because I thought it was a really pretty piece. I think I'm going to shorten this uh, necklace though. I have kind of big breasted and these things don't really sit well with me. But I am going to make it to where it comes more up here. So we will do more of a like so. And then the matching earrings to go along with it. But. I do want to thank you, Alicia. You don't know how much this means to me. Um, you giving me this this necklace, it, it really cheered me up. Again, you guys, it's paparazzi jewelry. Um, her name is Alicia, and I've been having all her information here at the bottom of the screen. But I'll post links so you can go to her page, and I'm going to pass out these cards to all my friends so they can they can shop with her. So let me know if you like this necklace. I thought it was pretty. So, yeah. Today's Monday, August 3rd, 2020, and it's been a little over three weeks since the miscarriage. Um, I'm supposed to start my cycle on the 6th, which will be Thursday, but I didn't track ovulation this month, you guys. So... It's cycle day 26, and I'm going to, I've got some liquid gold here. I bought these um, pregnancy tests off Amazon. They go with that pre-mom app. But anyways, I'm going to take this and then tell you about how my week was. Okay, so... While I'm doing this, I'll explain what happened this week because it's a doozy. I think you gotta hold these on there for five seconds. 
Yeah, okay. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, he submerged the max line. Okay. So, last Monday, it was probably about 9 o'clock in the evening. Okay. And then you just lay that flat. Whatever. Anyways, so last Monday, about 9 o'clock in the evening, I went to go pee. And when I wiped, I was spotting. Okay, now, like you saw in the picture, it was brown. Um, and then it did it again. Of course, I went back to the bathroom like 30 minutes later, and it did it again. And then, um, and so, you know, I was confused. I was like, is this a period? Like, what's happening? Um, the next morning, I woke up, and it was a little bit less, but it was still, still there. So throughout that day on Tuesday, nothing happened. There was no more spotting, no period came. I was so confused, you know, I was asking ladies online, I was like, what does this mean? What's, what's that? And nobody really had a, a genuine answer. But uh, Tuesday night, before I went to bed, it came again. And it was just a little bit it was more of a pinkish, and I was like, oh no, you know, because brown's like old dried up blood. Pink is more of like the onset of something, like kind of like new. But anyways, um, but since then, like, nothing's happened. Nothing. And I'm just like, I didn't get a period. One of my friends told me that it could be, um, could have been, you know, you were ovulating, and then all of a sudden, you know, some of it... Um, when you were ovulating, you know, like it kind of pushed out some of the, the old blood and stuff. And so maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't track ovulation this month. So I don't know what we're going to find. I do. I haven't been able to get to the doctor because my doctor, you know, canceled my appointment because he wasn't in this week. So I'm just kind of like, fuck it. I'm like, I'm over it. I just want to keep going with my life but this is done you guys and so based off of when I do ovulate <clears throat> today um, I usually ovulate like calendar day cycle day um, 17 and if I'm 26 today then that would put me at like 90 PO but Here's my test. I don't think I can. It won't focus. Look at that. It ain't focusing on that for nothing. But it's. It's. There's no line there. But that also lets me know that there's no more HCG left in my system. From the miscarriage. But I have been staying active this week. And. I'm still looking at this, you know me, you guys, ladies, you know how this goes, but there's no line, not that I can see or I'd be even worried about, but I'm going to show you some footage now on what I've been doing all week, and it consists of shopping. I, I go shopping, and I buy baby items for super, super, super cheap. And I've got an entire closet now full of baby clothes, full of baby clothes. So watch this footage and I'll show you how to stock up on baby items for hella cheap. Sure. Thanks guys. Okay, you guys. So I've become addicted to finding cheap baby stuff. Okay. So... We've been hitting up a lot of different stores, all right? Now, we went to Goodwill, okay? And looky here, okay? $3.33 for 100 nursing pads. Now, I looked it up and it's originally, what, like $8.64 at Walmart? 
So we're saving like five bucks. Okay. Sounds good to me. Now, something else we found. We found one of these. Okay. So we got one of these baby carriers. Infantino, not Infantigo. Ah, no. Okay. So let me show you the price tag on this. Okay. We looked it up at Walmart. $18.99. We got it at Goodwill for $3.43, okay? $3.43. Now, I won't show you the other stuff I got because it's not irrelevant to baby stuff. I'm gonna fucking kill him. So, I'm gonna let you guys come over here, okay? Now, this is our front door behind me and we have closets over here. So, I have been hiding all this stuff, you guys. <laughs> I've been hoarding all this crap. Oh my god, I'm hoarding a dog. The dog's in the closet. Dog, come out of the closet. Out of the closet. I've never heard that before. <laughs> and he likes to hump diesel, so. Anyways, so this thing here, this is one of those bath seats. And I'm not going to fully undo it because we have it folded up. I paid a dollar for that at a thrift store. We've got this sign here. It was 75% off whatever the price they had on here. $12.96. So we paid a lot less for that. I've also found a bunch of hats and bibs and rattle things. And I probably paid less than five bucks for all that. I've got, this is all zero to 12 months, girl clothes, and zero to 12 month boy clothes. This thing is completely full to the top. Like the lid can't even go on because it's full of like all the way up to 3T boys and girls stuff. I bought a shit ton of blankets. Now let me tell you about all of this and where I got it from, okay? You guys are going to think I'm freaking crazy. I found this thrift store. And on certain days, they have certain colored tag clothing for 20 cents. 20 cents, okay? So, the last two times we went there, I think the first time I spent like $20. The second time was like $16. Do the math. When it's 20 cents an item, and I'm over here spending like... 20 bucks that's like a hundred pieces of clothing so yeah I'm addicted to getting things for cheap because we're gonna need it all Kevin thinks I'm crazy he's getting to the point where he won't even go with me because he's too embarrassed because the entire freaking shopping cart is full what do you think I'm Kevin and I support this message so who knows what we're going to keep finding. Stay tuned to this video because next time I'll take you in the store with me and we're going to find some really good deals. But I am all about buying like things from thrift stores, secondhand shops. I just love paintball guns. But I only buy him brand new paintball guns. That's what he's saying. I'm sorry. No, I'm all about saving a buck because they're gonna grow out of this stuff so fast anyways, you guys. So, my arm is shaking, it's making the camera shake. I'll see you guys later. So oh you guys, going along with my I'm so cheap <laughs> budget bullshit, okay? We just bought a sofa, a sectional, mind you. <gasps> and we got 15% off because we found a coupon online. That's how we roll. Because that's how we roll. So we saved like $120. Treasure. Off of a damn fucking sectional. Brand new, by the way. Not like some cheap shit. But anyways. So now we have to get it inside the house. But I just wanted to chime in with this whole little... I mean, it's not a baby, baby item. But... It still goes along with me, you know, bargain shopping the and... The baby's gonna sit on it. <sighs> Someday. <laughs> you guys? Hey guys, games. so we're here at a thrift store. 
and they're having a sale today where it's white and pink tag um, items are 20 cents, five for a dollar. And I'm gonna show you my basket right now. So not only am I buying stuff for the baby we're gonna have, you know, boy and girl, all the way up to size 3T is what I got. But, you know, we've got Serenity, she's got her cart, she's filling up. And I'm also getting stuff for all the other kids as well. Um, I did find some baby blankets and such, but mo mainly clothes, but I just wanted to let you know that this is what I do. This is what I do. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm back from the thrift store, and here's everything that I got. Rennie, please move. Okay. I got eight bags of stuff, and a total came to $126. Mind you, everything was five items for one dollar. So, you do the math. But we got all the kids stuff and even the future kids stuff. So, what a deal. So, as you can see, the closet is getting even more full. I mean, we've got big old bags full of clothes more blankets, more things that we're totally trying to get prepared.